Also, I want you to notice that institutionally, science is indoctrination, pretty much like religion. Children are, in fact, this is a factual statement, children are, in fact, indoctrinated into science for 12 years. And then even more if they go to university. Why do I say indoctrinated? Is this a slur? No, this is an accurate factual statement. Because, in fact, children are not taught epistemology or metaphysics or alternative worldviews or alternative methodologies in school for the first 12 years that they're growing up. They're not taught this at all. They're not taught philosophy. They're not taught different ways of looking at the world. None of these, none of these things are ever mentioned. Science is learned by children through brute rote memorization. Do you remember science tests? Chemistry, biology, physics. Whatever other science you took, all of it was just blind memorization. You didn't derive a single biological fact. You didn't derive a single physical fact. You didn't derive a single chemical fact. And even those few uh, bullshit experiments that your chemistry teacher might have forced you to do while you were just, you know, probably laughing with your friends and, and dicking around, you, you were just like writing numbers down, you know, making numbers out of your ass while you're doing, the, the, doing those experiments. You weren't actually thinking about anything while you were doing those experiments. You didn't actually do any real science there. You didn't actually validate anything or invalidate anything. You didn't test anything. You were just following instructions. Even when the chemistry teacher told you to do the experiment, he or she gave you a list of steps to follow, an exact method, and you just followed it like a blind fucking monkey. That's what you did. And you generated exactly the kind of results that he wanted you to generate. You weren't seriously testing anything. So, truly, you were indoctrinated into science, exactly like a Muslim is indoctrinated into Islam in an Islamic madrasa, religious school. You know, they will beat Muslim children with sticks in madrasas, forcing them to memorize the Quran word for word, the entire fucking Quran. Well, that's essentially what happened to you in the West when you were learning science in school. They did this to you for 12 years and you don't even know that they did this to you. You just assume that this is how it is and you took it for reality. This is highly significant. You might say, Leo, but why, why does this matter? This is not important. Isn't education good? It's highly significant to the point that I'm making because your first 12 years of development, you know, from age six to let's say 18, these are the most formative years of your mind. Your entire sense-making apparatus of your ego mind is formed during this time. If you give me 12 years to indoctrinate a child into anything I want, I can make that child believe anything for the rest of his life. He'll believe that it's real and true. This is imprinting of the mind. Do not underestimate the significance of this indoctrination. It's, it's utterly radically profound. Your entire worldview is shaped by this. You are virtually incapable of thinking outside of this worldview. You were indoctrinated with materialism, realism, objectivism, uh, rationalism, skepticism, whatever else, what other isms. And you're not smart enough to think outside of this. This is the operating system that you are now using to make sense of the things that I'm telling you. Every word coming out of my mouth is being run through that operating system and being corrupted by all of the faulty assumptions, metaphysical and epistemic and methodological, within that system that you were indoctrinated with that you never questioned. And if you don't think that's a significant problem, uh, you're kidding yourself. As you were learning science, you have never ever validated the scientific method itself. You never, it never even crossed your mind to test it. Never. Never. And as you went to university, it never even crossed your mind to test it because you were too busy cramming for tests, drinking beer with your buddies, smoking weed, going to parties, and just barely struggling to maintain your grades. That's what you were doing. You weren't doing a serious investigation of anything true or real. You never gave a fuck about reality or truth ever in your entire educational career. 
It was all memorization and belief. And of course, now you have to hope. You have to hope it was all true. Because <laughs> as soon as you start to realize that some of it wasn't true, well, that, that sows little seeds of doubt, which are going to grow and grow and grow until the whole thing collapses. See, if you allow me, I can easily design a school curriculum that will teach students false science. I can invent a system equivalent to science, which is completely false. And I can teach it to children for 12 years. And they will become so convinced of it by the end of those 12 years that they will be utterly irredeemable for the rest of their lives, the majority of them. You will never be able to convince them of an alternative system. That's the power of imprinting on a young mind. And guess what? It's happened to you. See, all this time you were laughing, thinking it happened to somebody else, to those crazy religious people, to those Mormons, to those Scientologists, to those Muslims, to those evangelicals. It happened to you. It just happened in a scientific way. That doesn't mean it's true. That's just an alternative worldview. 